Hey guys, welcome back. Today I thought I'd show you quickly how to capture audio from your SDR uh, using voice activation within Audacity. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll take a quick look at how I record audio from my software defined radios, the, the cheap USB stick. SDRs. In some cases, um, particularly for listening to EMS or police or that nature, I uh, don't necessarily always want to sit around and wait for things to happen. So I found that this method works pretty good to allow me to listen to a summary later on uh, with no no gaps, no uh, no waiting for something to happen. Uh, admittedly, it's not live, but that's not what it's for. So. What we've got, we've got SDR Sharp running. I'm tuned into a, an aircraft frequency, and uh, it's pretty basic. For there's no different for the SDR Sharp setup. Just set it up as you always do. In my case, I use Line One Virtual Audio Cable as the output, so I can still use the rest of my PC ins and outs and not be interfered with. This is Audacity. Uh, it's a free program. You can download it. Uh, download this and what's called the lame mp3 encoder and you're good to go. So what I do, as I've shown in previous videos, I store everything in my Dropbox folder. So I always have it on all my PCs. Audacity is a standalone. You don't even need to, it doesn't even install. It's just a, a folder operation. So you open Audacity and uh, quite simply you set up the sound activated recording on or off set up the level you want which is obviously going to take a little bit of tuning depending on the depending on your setup uh, set your levels uh, if you wanted to change the sample rate etc uh, set up the line in my case line one virtual audio cable is going to be my input and you just hit go hit record this one is recording right now and uh, anytime uh, the audio exceeds the threshold you've set we get this good timing we get a recording uh, I also have squelch enabled on on the SDR, which helps a little with uh, setting your audio level for the trigger. It's as simple as that. When you're done, uh, let's do this one live right now. It looks like I've got about uh, nearly 12 minutes worth. We hit stop, and we hit file, export, and we'll just save it to the desktop. MP3 files, we'll just save it as ATC and hit save and it will come up with this little window uh, for doing anything other fancy for the mp3 style and we don't want to do metadata for this and we just hit ok and it exports it out to the desktop that's all there is to it so uh, it takes up very little space um, especially once you save it as an mp3 file in my case looks like I can save about 367 hours right now to the drive and that's it. So I uh, found it works really good for scanning use when you're not at the PC. So uh, you can save it to your Dropbox folder as well and have it uh, available on all the other PCs. So what I'll do is I'll uh, leave this up for a minute and show uh, a sample of the recording. And uh, so you can hear how this sounds cut together, just only done by Audacity. Uh, I didn't record the, a police frequency for the reason I, I don't want to get in trouble rebroadcasting that so we'll just use the aircraft one anyway hope this helps someone really glad you guys you guys could join me today and uh, Center, enjoy out of 3257 for 280 3257 258 Toronto Center good morning Jeffrey 1077 flight level uh, 340 okay uh, thanks for the heads up Jeffrey 1077 Toronto Center Jeffrey 493 flight level 360 Thank you very much, W493. Honorary count 153, having 23.5 for 270 direct, uh, I'll say about this time. Okay, good, thanks for the heads up. Flight level 360, honorary count uh, 153. Toronto, good morning. 